Today, we're gonna to be unboxing the Sony Dolby Atmos enabled speakers. Two speakers come in the box. The purchase of $150, um, 100 watts per channel, uh, as you can see. So these are up firing as well as you can mount them on the wall. I already have one pair. This will be the second pair. All right, so let's crack this bag. We'll open and see what comes inside the box. I'm gonna open it here. See what's inside this bad boy. So, there we go. All right, it's the first thing, the tab here. Guess that's where the serial numbers and everything are. Now, it comes with some type of brackets. I'm quite sure we'll know what these brackets are in a moment. Four set of brackets here, and two more set of brackets here. All right, this says top, so we'll take this out here. Boom. First speaker, whoa, these things pack some weight to them, everyone, so be prepared. They are slightly heavy. They are not light. And more instructions. Set everything down, put the box to the side, and let's go. So let's see. Seems to be a manual here, some screws. And things to register. This is the registration to register your product here. So, put one to the side. They taped up pretty good, as you can see. There from here. Open it up. And slide it out the sleeve. And wow, this thing is pristine, beautiful. I'm going to use it as an up fire today, as you can see it from the side. As the back, I believe that's where the brackets are. As you can see here, that's where your wires go. And again, this is a 100 watt uh, powered up fire and wall mounted Atmos speaker from Sony. It stands up there. And again, can't come off here. This thing is beautiful, everyone. This is a beautiful product. So it is. And it also has a little screw there I'm guessing once you screw it, flush down to the tower speakers that I'll show you in a moment to hold it on and so and the vibrates it won't fall off. And this is, I guess, so when you wall mount it to the ceiling or if you want to wall mount it to the back of a wall here, this is pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. Can't wait to see what these bad boys sound like once we have all four of them working. As you can see, I do have the Sony standing tower speakers uh, here with my setup. Uh, the face does come off as well. I'm going to put the upward firing speaker on top so it can go along. This is my setup right now, as you can see. Not too shabby, not too bad. Yeah, okay, receiver, Sony center speaker, Xbox One X, Apple TV 4K, beautiful position 5 over there as well. So, let's get to it. These are the ones I put on the wall at, uh, from the wall mounted. As you can see, this is my room setup. Uh, you can see they're mounted to the wall. They're pretty firm, they're flush, and they're great. Like these guys, things don't budge at all once you put them up there. The face mask does come off. They're pretty sleek, they're very beautiful under there, you know, with the blue speckles. And these things fire down towards the bed here. Boom. All right, as stated earlier, the box came with a few things. It came with brackets, two brackets here. Uh, set of foot pads so you can place it on the bottom of the Atmos speaker and set of screws. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the speaker here and you're going to place the foot pads in all four corners. So I'm just going to open that bad boy up, place them on there, and I'll get to you in the next step. All right. This is what it looks like with the foot pads placed on all four corners. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as they're placed on there because what they're going to do eventually, once you're done, they're going to sit flush on top of here like so. And the pads are on there so they won't scrape up the back of it. And the reason you have your brackets, which I have here, take one out. These brackets go back here. You simply press the screw here, screw there. Second bracket goes here. Screw top of there, screw top of there. And that should hold it flush and steady. 
All right, about to screw them bad boys in, and I'll show you what they look like once we're done, baby. We're almost there to test these bad boys out. I'm loving it so far. This is what it looks like once the screw, four screws are put on there. And remember what I just realized. The first set of, uh, on the Atmos speaker, the first set of screws are pre-made holes. So they go in quite easy. The second set, you have to make yourself, and uh, it lines up easy and perfectly inside of the Sony speaker. But as you can see, once they're locked in, this thing isn't going anywhere at all. They become one unit. And I'll turn this bad boy around, as it looks like from the side. And I'll turn it forward. It looks even better. Even better. It looks beautiful from the front. And if you take it off, take the top off, boom. That's what it looks like as a unit. As a unit, that thing is solid. Up firing. I'm liking it. We will see. Now I have this hooked up. I'm just gonna run some wiring, do a calibration, and see how this bad boy sounds. And we'll test it out. I like it. So I'm just gonna give you a brief uh, description. Um, so you can kind of see how it sounds. Uh, the speakers over there, as you can see, I'm going to go to an app so you can try to see how some of the Adobe uh, <clears throat> Atmos stuff sounds. I'll use my Apple TV. Where is the app? I don't own any of the rights to this. I'm just gonna give you a brief minute preview of how it may sound. And you know what? Actually, gonna cut my Xbox on. So sorry about that. That's what I meant to be on. <clears throat> Switch my remote. I'm actually gonna go to my Xbox. And I'm gonna go to Adobe Atmos. And I'm going to play the leaf clip just to give you an example on of how it sounds. And I'm gonna be quiet now. I'll let you guys listen. Uh, that just gives you a brief, uh, you know, kind of concept of how um, the sound, how it sounds from the, you know, up with firing speakers. And it sounds amazing. Um, I don't own the rights to any of this. I will play something again, but I don't want to, you know, like, you know, Dolby Digital to like, Dolby Atmos to like take it down or anything. But that's just an example of how they sound. They sound amazing. You can't really tell from the, you know, from this setup, but. If you have a light, a low ceiling, it, they are amazing. I'll give That's my money. final review on the Sony Dolby, Dolby Atmos speakers. As you can see, I use them as a up firing, um, and I also have them wall mounted. Um, so the big difference to me from what I gathered, what I got from it, that uh, wall mount itself sounds great. Um, it's more directional, you know exactly where the sound is coming from. I was kind of skeptical about the upward firing um, speakers, but they actually sound amazing. I was shocked. I am shocked. <laughs> I am really, really shocked at how well the room sounds full, as opposed to when they're wall mounted, they're coming directly, like the sound's coming directly down on you. It still sounds great. Um, but when it's up with firing, it really spaces out the room more. To me personally, it, it sounds good either way, but um, either way, they're a great purchase. They're not high at all. They're 100 watts. They install easy. Um, they're on sale right now for $159. You can't beat it. Um, Sony, good brand. 
Um, I recommend these things, guys. I recommend them. They pack a punch. They're very heavy. They're sturdy. Um, so, yeah. That's why I'm reviewing them. I say go grab them, especially right now because they're on sale at Best Buy, Amazon, you get them anywhere. 100 watts, 6 ohms. Can't beat it. It's me, Sec Bros. Again, my review. You tell me what you guys think. Like, share, subscribe, support, man. Everybody love everybody. It's my motto. I'm out.